Hi guys, welcome to Funky Kitchen. It is absolutely the hottest day in the whole of summer here in Austria, but we're still spending time in the kitchen. And we're spending time in the kitchen to do an absolutely amazing, amazing topping for pizza margarita. So if you're like having vegetarian toppings, you should absolutely try this one. Everybody will be stunned. So what I have prepared basically is pepper. I have three different kinds of pepper. For the color, you know, I have orange one, green one, and the red pepper. We have onions, cut to thin slices. I here have carrots, tomatoes, basically also two different kinds of tomatoes. One are the normal red ones, you know, and the other ones are yellow in color. They're like, mmm, very distinct and nice sweetness to it. And I have chilies. Um, it always depends on how hot you like a dish. Um, I like it very hot, so I brought along some chilies. What we'll do now, is do our spices mix. I have a little thing prepared already. What I have in here is basically cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and salt, and salt to taste. You can, of course, try it afterwards. I mean, it's all fresh ingredients. Um, salt, and then we have thyme, a little bit of thyme, and that's basically it. A little bit of roasted coriander, this is what I always um, tend to put into my stuff. And what I will also do, this is optional of course, but if you like it, and I do, I'll put just a little bit of palm sugar, you know, to have this caramelization process. Alright, the next spices we will need are oregano. I'm putting in one teaspoon of oregano. This is wonderful dried oregano from Croatia. Then we will use basil, you know, the normal Italian basil. Dried one. Of course, you can also use um, the fresh one if you want. I got it here too. But I prefer to actually put the fresh one onto the pizza after we have had it in the oven. Parsley. Of course you can use fresh parsley here. Thing is my parsley um, yeah was out in the sun too long so gotta buy a new one. And what I uh, also use, of course this is also optional, I have a little bit of dried Thai basil which gives this wonderful nut-like flavor to the dish. Okay, so we will put this all into here. Take some good native olive oil, with a good chop, and then we will put in all our different vegetables. Almost. And of course my chilies. This is optional. Don't do it if you don't like your hot. I'll set this one very spicy. And last thing of preparation. Give it a good stir. Mm. Ah, and you can also already now feel all those fresh flavors coming together. Mm. Wonderful. Look at this. All the different colors, all the brightness of this dish. Wonderful. 
So, after we have stirred this, we can put it into the fridge and let it rest for some time, you know, to let the oil and spices also infuse into the vegetables. But, I'll be receiving guests and I have no time for this. So, we will directly put this into my air fryer. Of course, you can also use the oven. Wow, this will be much, really much for the pizza. Today, if you're having a big pizza, you know, this is absolutely perfect. Because what we'll do is, we will not put this on the pizza directly, we will prepare it beforehand or next to the pizza, you know? So that the pizza will not get soggy. If you have like uh, all those tomatoes, they might, you know, lose some of their juices onto the pizza. We don't want that. So we'll prepare this next to the pizza. And we'll put the topping on. Afterwards. Okay, so what I do is I put it into my air refrigerator, air refrigerator, air fryer, and I use 185 degrees for eight minutes. That's enough. Put it on. If you're doing it in the oven, you should use also. Maybe you can have like 200 degrees Celsius um, for some minutes, six to seven minutes. You should just open it up and you will see, you know, it should, the tomatoes should have this nice browning, also the um, pepper. Yeah. So now, let's wait and have a drink. As always, feel free to experiment, you know, put in a little bit of vinegar to have a little bit of sourness to it, or lime juice, then add a little bit of palm sugar as I did, you know, to give this sourness and sweetness to the dish. Just feel free, do it, and enjoy eating it. Bye bye. All right, guys, enough for the waiting. Yeah, really nice. Pizza is ready. We will need now are some of those fresh basil leaves. put aside now this looks ready absolutely amazing look at the colors we'll pull on as much as we want of our wonderful topping perfect And now, let's see what it tastes like.
Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Really good. Remember to always keep your relay very near. Oh, damn.